So, do you guys want to make low polymer games, but don't want to construct your own 3D models because they probably suck? And don't want to buy those pricey models on Unity? That looks very bad. So, you have come to the right place. It's Panakine here, and in today's video, I will show you guys how you can get those th cute th low polymer 3D models for free and use them in your game or YouTube video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> So, I found this little website called Google Poly, actually it's not little because it's from Google, which gives you free models to use in your video games or in YouTube videos. So, to find the models, you need to go to Google and search for Google Poly. And if you're too lazy, you can just click on the link in the description down below. After that, click on the first link, poly.google.com. Then, um, you can create a, your own ID, as I've created mine. After that, um, if you scroll down, you'll see many assets, which you probably want to download right now, but you can't. So, um, right now, you can only download this, um, if you go to this three lines section, or things like that, I don't know what to say. And then scroll down, you'll find like many categories like history, furniture, and home, and many things. So, um, you ca can currently download the malls from blocks. So, in future, um, they will, I think, you can download malls from any of these sections, but currently, you can download only from blocks. I think it's a, a platform where you can create 3D malls. So, just simply click on blocks and then wait for it to load uh, as you can see it's a bit slow so yeah as you can see right here you can see malls 3d malls so for example it's a wall you know walls are cool right a nintendo switch cool and you can find some scenes like you can join some scenes together like these two i think they won't join some interior furniture and Jigglypuff and Fox and these spikes. So, I mean, there's a lot of variety, some key ties, some cool glasses, right? Some castles, which can you, you can use for levels, some see. Uh, this couch, it's actually very nice. You can use this in your games. I don't know where you, you'll use this thing. But yeah, there are many thing, useful things like the shelf these headphones, the smartphone that you can keep all around your scene in Unity. This alarm clock, skateboard, and everything. And one more thing. You can even find something, some things like ladders and houses that you can use for your levels. So yeah. Um, so now, if to download it, I'm first gonna find a cool model. Um, let me just search through it, and I think this PC looks good. So, now it will take some time to load. And we just need to wait for some time. And then you can drag through this. Ah, it's looking pretty good. Hmm. Nice GPU and CPU and everything. So, um, never mind. So... To download this, um, if you scroll down, or I don't think you need to, you'll find this download button. So click on this download button, and then you need to scroll down right now, and then um, like click on this original OBJ object file to use it in Unity, and then it will simply download the model as a zip file. So, and yeah, there's one condition. So, you need to use, um, like, you need to include the creator's name in your video or in your video video game. Um, like, in the video game, you can do that in a credit, by making a credit section. 
so you can list uh, the models that you used and where you got them and links and things like that and if you made any changes like for example um, if I like uh, added changed its fans in blender or something like that you need to um, like say that uh, in the description or in the credit section that I changed the fans uh, but this model was originally created by uh, this person so in this case is Alex Safi Safvan so yeah uh, and yeah that's the condition so now let's take a look at how you can export that into unity so uh, right now here is this archive thing that I downloaded right now so I'm quickly gonna create a new folder just to stay organized and now if you double click on it um, so I've downloaded a zip opener or something like that uh, link in the description down below if you don't want to download it and I think you probably want to so this will open and there are two material files and one model object now I'll extract it to download slash archive um, yeah let's just leave it right there I created a new folder for no reason so I'm going to delete it so you just simply need to drag it into unity which I can do probably right now I don't know why be right back So now I can drag it, so I'll just drag it into Unity and then paste it here. So just simply ignore this error edit line. So now you need to click on the model and mesh compression to high. Change the mesh compression to high and then simply hold it for long and then drag into scene. Uh, and make sure to apply the settings. You can also use uh, AAA um, approximate anti-aliasing to get some good results out of this. Uh, and I've created the video on that. Um, the link in the description down below. So as you can see right here, this mods uh, now exported in Unity. So I forgot to import the material file, which I'll do right now. So for to apply this uh, materials, uh, I forgot to record that part. I don't know why. So you just simply need to go to materials and then go to this location, and it will be currently on use embedded materials. Make sure it's set set to use external materials. So I'll show you if I use this use em external materials. Uh, sorry, I can't show you because I already did it. Um, and the PC will like return to its colors, so I don't know. Uh, you can edit it in Blender, I think. Yeah, so as you can see, it's very detailed, like, yeah. You can even move inside it. So, yeah, that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching my video, and goodbye.